It's a carnival atmosphere as we await the execution of Clint Fletcher. Clint Fletcher, better known as the Rocky Mountain Barber, is credited with the murders of 16 young women. He confessed to all 16 murders and is quoted as saying... His so do you think the governor will pardon him? I mean, there's still time. Clint Fletcher killed 18 women. He deserves to die. No, he only killed 16 women. 18. There are still two bodies they haven't found yet. Well, how do you know that? He told me. You can see the prisoner now, Mr. Dent. Mm. Alex Dent, the crime biographer? Well, how did you get an exclusive? I helped to catch him. Got two minutes. Judgment Day, Clint. Any last words for posterity? <laughs> no guilt. No remorse. State Penitentiary, death row. What the hell's going on? You're about to be executed. What? Guard. No! This made a mistake! What the hell's going on? Time's up, buddy. Time's up, buddy. Time's up, buddy. No, please! Wait! Somebody help me! All attractive co-eds Fletcher met at a local campus. His reign of terror in the area lasted two years. Stop. Please. Captured with the help of famed crime biographer Alex Dent. Please. Please tell me what I did.
you okay, Father? It bothers me to see a life purposely taken. You don't think you deserve to die? I suppose a great evil has left the world. I don't know. I think the evil merely left Fletcher's head and moved on to someone else's. Evil's a disease. Perhaps you're right. Good night, Mr. Dent. Father, you don't think this execution solved anything, do you? Father, I'd love to discuss this further with you. All right, I'll give you my card. Sleep. You'll feel like a new man in the morning. Yes. You'll be more than a new man. You'll be a bestseller. Dent is giving a lecture at the Boyd Hotel. You want to go? I don't know. Might be interesting, Mickey. He's the best-selling author of that book on the Rocky Mountain Barber. Oh, serial killers aren't really my idea of a good read. Oh, no, this guy's amazing. When he writes, he makes you feel like you're right there when the killing occurs. Always my favorite thing. It's influenced my writing for the better. Hey, I read your last piece. That was pretty good. Really? Mm. Thanks. It's been a long haul. <laughs> Alex Dent makes it look so easy. Come on, Mickey, you'll have a great time. Yeah, come on. All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, you won't regret it. This guy will turn your head around. Evil is not a learned behavior. It's a disease which can strike any one of us at any time. Take Clint Fletcher, for example, a loving husband, father, the good, quiet neighbor, the old cliche. Then something happened. He became infected. The virus rewiring his chromosomes with a blueprint for evil, altering the biochemical processes of his brain, turning him into a madman. The disease manifested itself as he littered the Rocky Mountains with bodies. They, too, victims of the disease. The disease is you! You're the sick one. You write these books as, as if you enjoy the killing. Please, I don't... No, Harold. Harold, wait. Let him talk. The more people they kill, the more books you sell. You're getting rich off of other people's misery. I think you've missed my point. What point? My brother needed help. You exploited him. You glorify serial killers. You encourage people to act out their violent fantasies. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I'm Jerry Fletcher. Clint Fletcher was my brother. Well, I'm sorry for both of you. You never knew my brother. I did. And the voices in his head that drove him to do what he did. How could you know what was going on in his head? Were you there? Mr. Fletcher, all you're managing to do here is convince this audience that insanity runs in the family. Oh, you bastard! Get your hands off! Harold, please. Leave me alone! Hey, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for this disturbance. What I have to say next is of the utmost importance. Although the police have done their best to give the case a low profile, there is at this very moment a serial killer loose in this city. He struck twice, and he'll strike again soon. I'm certain he's a minister or a priest, driven by some twisted religious concept, he now hunts those he once sought to help. By day, he maintains the persona of a man of God. But on some nights, the evil transforms him into an angel of death. I predict one of those nights will be tonight. <laughs> Enough for tonight, Alex. You just do the publishing, Harold. Leave the PR to me. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Dent, for a very informative evening. I'm glad you appreciated it. I'm an aspiring writer myself. Would you? Sure. Are you an aspiring writer, too? Uh, no, I run an antique store. Oh, I love antiques. People keep pushing me to switch to word processing, but I stick to traditional pen and paper. Do you feel it's better to write that way? For me, it's the only way. Well, thank you. Good night. Good night. Dent! I want to talk to you. Uh, later. Now. I want to know how you knew all that stuff about Clint. Research. Don't give me that. Well, maybe my brother killed all those people, but you were involved somehow. You're as crazy as he was. How do you know he confessed to me? I never told anyone. He told me. That's a lie. I knew my brother. If you knew him so well, why didn't you stop him? All right, look. A friend of mine has a place over on Stanley Street. I'll be there around 11. It's called the Neon Gargoyle. Why don't you join me there for a drink? I'll be there. All right. I'll see you there. No matter what you say, Mickey, you have to admit it was an interesting evening. <laughs> Jack, do you really think that evil can be a disease? I suppose. Alex Dent is certainly dedicated to the possibility. Well, that's what makes him such a great writer. I wonder if he's right about that killer striking again tonight. Well, there's nothing we can do except wait and see. If it turns out to be a preacher, it's going to make one hell of a book. Yes, I'm afraid it will. It was time to kill again. The evil coursed through his veins, freezing his heart and pounding into his brain. It was time to unleash the fury, time to cleanse one more soul of the sins of the world. He hunted a man named Fletcher. Jerry carried the burden of his brother's guilt into the night. He was looking for answers, but found redemption. <laughs> Jerry thought he knew as much about these killers as a man could. Still, he strayed into the killing ground. Get him. Get him. The angel neared, carrying absolution for Fletcher's sin. The voice reminded him who he was, the truth and the way, the Redeemer, the Lord's executioner. Oh, Father, you scared me. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me shall never die.
This was the first time a killer contacted me directly. are now admitting they're linked. Just as Dent predicted. Are you ready for this? Police identified the victim as 30-year-old Jerry Fletcher of Fort Collins, Colorado. Jerry Fletcher? Clint's brother. Dent is giving a news conference. Apparently, the killer called him after the murder. Mickey, something's wrong with all this. You call Johnny and pay Mr. Dent another visit. I'll search the manifest for his name. You think one of her objects is behind this? Well, something's behind it. This is all too coincidental. Uh, may I see your press passes, please? We're not with the press. We'd really like to speak with Alex Dent. Yeah, well, he won't be talking with his fans today. Oh, we're not fans. We just want to know where he was last night. What? Around the time that Jerry Fletcher was killed. He was in his room all night, writing. In fact, I shared a brandy with him just after the killer phoned. Satisfied? You're ready, Mr. Bradley. Nice guy. Johnny. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Detective Adams, homicide. First of all, the details of this case are still a police matter. I want it understood that Mr. Dent has offered his service as a consultant only. Well, this madman must be stopped. How we accomplish it is immaterial. I've dedicated my life to the unraveling of the serial killer psyche. I know how they think, what they think, sometimes before they do. Will these murders wind <clears throat> up in your next book? Well, that doesn't concern me now. What does is catching the angel of death before he strikes again. What did the killer say to you? He asked to speak with me tonight, in person. It's not uncommon for a serial killer to do this. It means he's trying to stop. If there is any chance to stop the killings, I will meet with him. How long will these killings continue? The people of this community can rest at ease. But in a matter of hours, the angel of death will be behind bars. It is true, Lieutenant Adams, that the mayor has requested the Alex Dent. The has to uncover so that's what you're calling yourself these days. <laughs> Won't you be surprised to see me? Yeah. What the hell was that? What? Look, I agreed to let you tell what you knew, but this is a police investigation, not some publicity stunt for your next book. I think you're overreacting, Detective. We're both after the same thing. I don't think so. Look, I've been following your work, Dent. I'm flattered. Don't be. I've been a cop for 23 years. You know more than you're telling. But I'm calling the shots, Dent. Don't you forget it. Alex Dent published three books on serial killers in the last five years. Before that, he didn't exist. No other books? No other life. We couldn't find any biographical material on him except what's on the back of covers. You know, in all of his books, there's one thing that bothers me. What? In all of the cases, the killer has no memory of their crimes, which is the complete opposite of any classical serial killer. I wanted to ask him that the other night, but I didn't have a chance. He's not listed in the manifest. The only author I can find there is a Billy Fraser. Lewis sold him a pen, but I can't find him in any of the writers, directors I've got. Do you think he could be the same guy? You mean he might be using a pseudonym, a pen name? Well, I could certainly try and talk to Bradley. He'd know. Yeah. Yes, do that, Mickey. Johnny, how about you and I go down to East Side and take a look around? Five Baker 7, this is Tango 6. We'll be in position in 10. Over. Roger, Tango 6. We copy and we'll The wire's good for about half a mile. The buildings can break up the transmission, so don't stray too far. Speak normally, and if you're in trouble, just say, this isn't good. We'll move right in. 
George Kent. No heroics. You spot him, you yell. We'll pick up everything on the wire. Just give me some room, huh? Look, I want this freak before he kills again. Understand? Thank you. Be careful, Alex. Yeah, thanks. Final chapter. What the hell are you playing at? I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me shall never die. There was nothing I could do. What's going on? Where am I? Jack! Jack! Johnny, where have you been? Look, let's get out of here. I'll tell you on the way. Come on. on this will be fantastic. Congratulations, Mr. Dent. I'm you. telling you, Alex, this is hot. I can all but promise you a million dollar advance. Sounds great. Does that bill? Marion. You remembered my name. That's so romantic. Uh, Harold, why don't you go on up? I'll talk to you in a few minutes. After I get reacquainted with an old friend. An old friend. Is that how you introduce your wife, Billy? How did you find me? I turned on my TV, and uh, there you were. I've missed you. I'll bet. It's true. I don't read much, knowing you put me off writers. I've missed your eyes to start them. What do you want? I've been thinking we should give it another go. You must be kidding. I'm not kidding. I want some of the money you've made. Not a chance. Why not? I supported you while you were writing this trash. You know how embarrassing it'll be when your fans find out you're Billy Fraser, the King of Sleaze. All right. Give me your address. I'll make some arrangements. 435 Bluefield Street. Billy, don't disappoint me. Mary and I don't want to see you again. Then make sure I won't come back. Hmm?
and serial killer. Until now. Dent stabbed the chaplain with a pen. I'm not sure what it did, but all of a sudden, he didn't seem to know where he was. And you're sure that Dent was there when the detective was killed? I saw him. You know, we assumed that the books were written after the murders. You're supposing it was the other way around. He wrote it, and then it happened. Yeah, exactly. See, I'm sure that Dent is somehow controlling the chaplain through the pen. Whatever he writes, the man does. Mickey. Mickey, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I followed Dent to his room, and somebody hit me from behind. They took my wallet. Should I call the doctor? No. No, I'm fine. Sorry. I just want to go to bed. Was it Dent? I don't know. I didn't see anybody. What are we going to do about Alex Dent? Forget about Dent for tonight. We'll go after him tomorrow. You will take me closer to murder than I've ever been. So, what'll you be? Something vicious. A slasher. <laughs> Slowly transforming her into the monster she was to become. Yes. Mickey, I thought you'd gone to bed. Feeling a little better, thank you. I think you should get some sleep. There's something I forgot to tell you. A woman called Marion came to see Dad. Yeah. Brought this book. She said she was his wife. Blood Madness by Billy Fraser. They're the same person. They were arguing. I think she was trying to blackmail him. Certainly looked this over carefully. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. I guess I should just say good night. Good night. I sleep well. Jack! Mickey? Up here, Johnny. How's Mickey doing this morning? She's not up yet. Been reading one of Mr. Fraser's books. Listen to this. 
The ecstasy as I slashed the life from her, the joy as the hot blood poured over my hands and filled my eager mouth. How could I be so stupid? What are you talking about? Well, of course, Alex Dent is, is using the pen to create killers. When he was writing his Billy Fraser, he was obsessed with brutality. And just writing about murder doesn't have the kick of making people do it for you. Exactly. I think we have to get Mickey and get going. Mickey. She's not here, Jack. She walked the streets while the evil in her veins grew stronger, slowly enveloping her mind. The evil picked the time and the place. It was beginning to show its power. She indulged herself in the ritualistic foreplay of torture. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. Listen, Freddie, you handle it, okay? I'll catch you later. Bye. I'll have another one. Hi. Hi. Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Same for the lady. Smoke? Decided to play with him. Well, if you see her, will you tell her to call us right away? Thank you. Jack, nobody has seen her. I better start calling the hospitals. That bump on the head might be worse than I thought. I'd have more to worry about than a bump on the head. Jerry Fletcher and Detective Adams both were suspicious of Dent. So he had the chaplain kill them. Maybe he knew. And Mickey was suspicious, too. And she's been acting very strangely ever since she came back from the hotel last night. He used it on her. Just like the chaplain. He transforms them into killers by using the pen. Mickey's his next book. Come on. He was handsome. Arrogant. But she would change that. Hey, uh... You okay? I haven't got all day, so uh, what do you say we split this place, huh? You know we're gonna have a good time. Hmm? not here. He's been gone for hours. Frankly, I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him since lunch. When do you expect him back? Well, I don't know that either. When Alex says he needs some time to write, I give it to him. Police are still looking for a female slasher who attacked Johnny. a businessman at the club with a straight razor. He's described as a white female with red hair, mid-twenties, approximately five. Is there something seven, else? Which is the woman Look, I'll, uh, I can leave him a message if you like, but I can't guarantee yeah, thank you'll you Thank you. Do that. She was ready to kill.
survived on the fear she invoked in her victims. Kill somebody? If he wants it, she will. All he has to do is write it. Where would she go? Anywhere Alex wants her to go. Wait here a minute. Her beauty masked the monster that lurked within her soul. Marion's killing was the most brutal I'd ever seen. There would be artistry in the guild, a beauty and symmetry that would amaze as much as it would appall. Her bloodlust was driven by madness. She struck out at me by killing Marion. The ritual was all, the dread created, the awesome sweetness of the torture. Killing was the only way she could display her talents and release the pain that screamed through her skull. The blood would replace it with the joy of satisfaction. If he thinks he can treat me like dirt, he's got another thing coming. Hello. Marion? Yeah, it's me. I thought so. Look, would you shut up and listen, please, for a change? I'm sending someone over right now. You just wait there. This better be worth waiting for, Billy. Yeah, I promise you. You'll get everything you deserve. <sighs> Alex send you? Yes. Come in. Nothing. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. What'd you find out? He hasn't called. He hasn't picked up his messages. He could be anywhere. And so could Mickey. Jack, maybe they're in the same place. Well, you said that Alex Dent wasn't happy just writing about murders. He had to see them. I still don't know who he sent Mickey after. What about somebody else who was a threat to him? His wife, Marion Fraser. The phone's over there. Come on. He said you'd have something for me. I do, I told you. He asked me to wait. <laughs> what for? He wants to be here. Don't tell me he's anxious to see my eyes light up. I don't know. He just asked me to wait. Hmm. Hello. Mrs. Fraser? Yeah, speaking. My name is Jack Marsh. Well, what the hell are you doing? Mrs. Fraser? Going over there. He wants us not to be disturbed. No. Why don't you ask him to save you? <laughs> What's the matter, love? Don't you like what I sent you? Alex, please! Come on. She needs you. When she's finished with you, you'll be a work of art. Four twenty-nine, four thirty-one, four thirty-five. There.
I made you a snack. I'm not hungry. Nikki, you should have something. You've had a rough time. Do you want to talk about it? What's to talk about? I killed someone. Nikki, what happened? It wasn't you. It wasn't your fault. Jack, I don't remember a thing. It was the pen. It's evil is now down there in the vault. At least you can be happy it'll never harm anybody again. It's over, Mickey. Remember that. It's over. Just a dream, Mick. Oh, it's over. It's over. You're safe. 